Namaste, good morning to all respected online viewers. Long live their majesties, long live our leaders and long live our friendship. Welcome to this online yoga workshop, Embassy of India, Thimpu, ICCR's Neurovangsu Culture Center. I am yoga teacher KV SSN Murthy here. My true prayers to the Almighty to see all the best things to their majesties and their whole Bhutan. So coming to the today's exercise pattern. So today we have stick yoga, very simple and very effective uh, exercise mode. So only thing is, you uh, like when you have a small pipe or small stick, you can do lots of exercises. Uh, and, and also it will take care of your alignment and your performances. But uh, le, le, uh, like uh, we will start our sun salutations today also with the uh, uh, mantra chanting and sloka and vijakshra. So according to your tradition belief, you can follow all the chantings or you can follow only uh, physical practices. So keep your back straight and take a long deep inhalation, exhalation. Then after that open your both the hands to the side stretch and further lift it up. So once completely pull yourself up in the pranamasana, then slowly bring your pranamasana at your chest level or at your forehead level and few seconds to stay alert. If possible, try to be in the prayerful mood throughout the practices. Om Hiranmaye Na Patre Na Satya Syapi Hitam Mukham Tatvam Pusham Apavrunu Satya Dharmaya Drustaye Om Ham Hrim Hrum Hrim Hrum Raha Mitra Ravi Surya Bhanu Kagapushna Hiranya Garbha Maricha Aditya Savitra Arka Bhaskaraya Namaha then open your both the arms forward and wide and lift your both the arms out for better pulling and from here slight or medium back bend at the chandrasan or at the chakrasan few seconds stay then again come back to normal when you have issues regarding lower back level or neck level or high blood pressure or heart level issues uh, avoid forward bends even in your regular uh, household work so remaining people coming to the forward bend pada hastasana or standing forward bending with complete breathe out bend till your uh, maximum flexibility then right leg stretch back called Aswa Sancharanasana or horse riding posture push your body down as well as forward towards your uh, front folded leg heel and further uh, lift your chin up to stretch your neck region so this is also a good exercise for the people who are having abdominal troubles especially liver troubles or uh, pancreas troubles and also good exercise for the thyroid region then coming to the anti-gravity exercise or dandasan or santulanasan, back leg straight on the toes and back leg knee up against the gravity without lifting your hips more then slowly join your forward leg to back leg and few seconds stay in this plank style then coming to the bending the body completely press the body towards the floor called Asta Anga Namaskarasan or eight limbs posture to two palms chest forehead or chin and knees and toes must come on the floor slightly lift your hips up to uh, give uh, some more exercise on the chest level and coming to lift your head cobra posture or bujungasan once completely lift up so try to avoid hanging the body in between the shoulders but again the shoulders push your body and few seconds to stay this is very simple but effective exercise uh, in the back bends especially in management of lower back troubles or neck troubles and another way of anti-gravity pose or forward bending uh, practice called Parvatasan. So when you have severe troubles for the head or heart, so try to avoid these kind of exercises. And coming to Aswasanchalanasan with the same right leg forward. Again press your alternative part of the abdomen and back leg straight on the toes, back leg knee up and join your back leg to the forward leg called Padahastasan. Once completely push your body down and lift your arm and lift your body and slowly come rise Hasta Uttanasan once completely pull up and slide out medium back bend at the Chandrasan then get back to normal and Pranamasan about to the uh, head then slowly bring it down at your chest level or forehead level and after taking one long inhalation exhalation for releasing the posture again coming to inhalation then exhalation by the hands then turn them down relax for a while then soon after your practices give a small break in between your practice sessions one round to other round so uh, like our next exercise pattern depends on the stick exercise danda yoga <coughs> 
but please remember when you are doing this kind of exercises based on this prop called stick or pipe especially inside your homes try to take care of your articles and electrical appliances so hold your stick and take a long slow deep inhalation and exhalation then coming to the first exercise kati chakra asan or uh, like waist rotation posture so try to put your stick on the neck and see your stick must be equal on right side and left side so once keep your above back straight so this is itself a good posture in management of the above back troubles few seconds to stay now especially for the office goers or for the people uh, who are having repeated work on the tables in front of the computers for them very simple and effective exercise move and few seconds stay in this exercise then finally coming to actual posture called kati chakra asan so here wide your legs to the medium or maximum uh, and according to your uh, like according to your flexibility or convenience you can turn your uh, right leg to the right side then accordingly turn your body to the right side but back turn and few seconds to stay now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 Slowly get back to normal and turn your foot straight and few seconds again resting. So both the legs together once rest your legs, rest your ankles. And when you want relaxation from the stick and from the uh, arm level, once keep your stick down and few seconds relax your shoulders also. Please remember between the yoga pose to yoga pose, when you want you more relaxation to the uh, shoulders or to the concerned body organs which is already got strained in the posture, please do that. That is actually required. then coming to opposite side hold your stick then try to put it on the neck region so try to keep adjust your both the arms properly on the stick then here also once coming to the like distance medium or maximum like in previous and coming to turn your left leg to the left side so initially this leg turning may not required but just for the sake of your convenience only we are turning the leg then towards your left side or towards your open leg side completely rotate your body and stay for a while especially above back to neck stretch and try to push your uh, stick with your right hand more so that it will turn your body more 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 then get back to normal and few seconds turn your body straight and turn your foot straight then here also once leave your arms and keep your stick straight again fuse against rest your neck and rest your shoulders and breath then one long deep inhalation and exhalation so here we have a bending posters called konasan or angular posture this is also very simple and effective exercise especially for the people who are having a uh, central obesity and also good exercise for the stretching of the latissimus muscle uh, and armpit region so here hold your stick we have many variations uh, in every pose but we are uh, today we are saying very simple exercises with a simple variations so this time slightly wide your legs the maximum distance or minimum distance so try to uh, lift your stick with your both the arms especially the way uh, the which side which you, you are going to bend that side stick must be lengthier than the other side then towards towards the left side or right side bend but keep your stick on the floor and adjust your above hand then catch your stick with your above hand leave your below hand then try to put it on the waist so adjust your body and adjust your above arm and stick push your body towards your uh, against your stick and you can bend more and stay now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the same level keep open your pillow hand to hold the stick then slowly get back to normal and few seconds free the relaxation so in fact the strain in the yoga posture is nothing but a kind of relaxation but the 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 way how you are taking also important so few seconds break and relax your uh, shoulder level relax your neck level then same thing opposite side here wide your leg to the medium or maximum and lift your stick up then keep why uh, like uh, uh, keep your uh, stick extend to the other side then towards your extend side stick side and bend the body and put your stick on the floor and keep open your above hand properly below hand slowly leave put your below hand on the waist push your body and stay now 1 2 3 4 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then slowly get back to normal and relax from the strain. Few seconds to break. Just take a long, slow inhalation and exhalation. Relax your shoulders and breath and neck. So to give extra stretching on the above back and on the spinal cord and on the shoulders, especially for the above body region, we have very simple and effective exercise called uh, Chakki Charanam or Chanding the Mill. So here, while standing, while using the sticks or pipes, this is more easy and keep your stick vertical in front of your body slightly wide the legs then this time hold your stick with your both the arms in front of your chin or forehead then try to give stretches from right side to left side or clockwise then completely rotate so completely come back again second count turn and then slowly get back then here third count completely rotate stretch your above back then slowly come straight. So when you will do slow uh, this kind of exercises, you will you, you can feel better. Then get back. Last count, completely rotate. And few seconds break. Only thing is try to don't put your stick closer to the body. It must be uh, wider from the body. Then opposite side, same thing. Completely rotate your body. Then slowly get back to normal. Second count, completely rotation. Then slowly get back. Third, last counts, lifts and then strides. And before ending, you can choose one more time for better stretching of the shoulders and the upper back. Then get back to normal. Few seconds to break. So according to your free time uh, at your uh, like work, uh, workplaces, you can choose more repetitions according to your time limitation. Few seconds break. Take a long, deep, slow inhalation, exhalation. Then after this Chakki Charanam, we have Ardha Chandrasan or Ardha Chakrasan. So, so, uh, sorry, we have Ardha Chakrasan. So try to keep your back straight and put your stick on your lower back. Contract your both the hands towards your waist. So throughout the practice, do not uh, like hurt your backbone. So try to put your stick on the hips region. All right, this time try to slightly push your body forward, turn the shoulders back, lift your chin up for a slight uh, model of wheel. Or when you have good flexibility, you can choose more way of bending also. Then few seconds to stay now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then get back to normal. Especially in this kind of back bends. Uh, no need to hold the breath as well as don't close the eyes also but many people having kind of giddiness when when they are doing back bend especially in if, uh, in that cases only close the eyes but you can choose proper way of supporting then few seconds to break again long slow deep inhalation and exhalation all right coming to another way of partial forward bend called drikon asan uh, like observe carefully when you have lower back strains or uh, like above back strains try to choose doing or avoid this kind of exercises or you can choose another kind of props to give proper support so here with the stick also we can do the same exercise then try to keep your stick on the back and hold your stick with your two arms in between your both the legs choose distance like shoulder distance or medium distance or still you can choose uh, like more distance also when you want good stretch on the thighs and the hamstring all right now try to contract your both the hands then keep your back uh, like horizontal to the floor then keep your head slightly down lift your arms up and stay now so here throughout the practice keep contract your hands and stay now one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten, then slowly get back to normal and few seconds break relaxation so uh, choosing this kind of simple partial forward bends will really uh, give proper support on the lower back so instead of uh, like uh, choosing uh, direct forward bends called Pada Hastasana you can choose this simple partial forward bend so when you once you will get into the practices you can choose that advanced practices also but here also few seconds make that body uh, like strainless relax your body with the breath just take a long, slow inhalation, exhalation. So, in fact, here also we have one back bend. 
uh, in like uh, the the practices approach will be like when you will do once a kind of forward bend you have to do one kind of back bend also so for this i, ch I have chosen the same ardha chakrasan but here the earlier posture will be uh, uh, the earlier posture was like uh, keeping the stick on the lower back but this coming to, this coming chakrasan will be keep your stick vertical back of the body hold your stick with your two arms and choose proper distance between your body and the stick then hold the stick with your two arms then according to your convenience just you can choose bending the head down and throughout the practice don't leave your arms from the grip and few seconds to stay now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then get back to normal then very slowly come straight then few seconds break just take a long slow inhalation and exhalation and our next exercise will be kind of forward bending and hasta uttanasan a combination uh, called somewhat utita lolasan or body movement it's a it's a kind of swinging swinging body uh, movement so here both the legs slightly wide both the arms together and hold your stick with your two arms but please remember when you have uh, spinal cord issues or head issues or neck issues or blood pressure issues or giddiness uh, dizziness or throwing sensations uh, try to avoid this kind of exercises initial but few seconds breath break take a long deep slow inhalation exhalation and all right and now coming to exercise lift your both the arms up hold your stick with your two hands then slightly put a back bend from there along with your body bending bend your arms and head till the legs but don't stay here again lift the arms up again completely up raise with inhalation and again exhalation bend here no need of staying uh, on the forward or on the up upward then slowly movement of the body from below words to above words and four then get back last count five and then slowly get back to normal and relax your arms and relax your body again few seconds break keep your stick vertical and movement of the legs same for better blood circulation and uh, to today's all our uh, session will be on the standing uh, posters uh, like next week it will be changed towards the standing and it will compose like standing sitting and the other postures also and now today is our last exercise last physical pr practices at the chandrasan or half moon posture so you can choose this kind of stick also uh, for better support and and also we have uh, double stick exercises maybe in coming days we will, we will show that double stick exercise also but coming to, uh, uh, to today we have only single stick so keep your left leg back right leg forward but carefully observe when you have knee issues or ankle issues or uh, especially uh, at the hip level issues don't try to do this kind of exercises without guidance now put your stick on your right side but at the left leg they just next to the left leg and hold your stick with your two arms then when you are bending the forward leg more try to lift your chin up and few seconds to stay now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then get back to normal then few seconds break then here also one relax your leg relax your thighs and few seconds take long slow inhalation and exhalation between yoga pose to yoga pose so it is also advised to give a small time gap but it's, you should not uh, exceed more than 30 seconds or uh, 1 minute time and coming to opposite side again take a long slow and a deep inhalation exhalation then coming to left leg forward right leg back and adjust your mat and rest and your breath then put your stick on the back that should be in the line of your uh, left leg but that should be next to your right leg ankle all right hold your stick with your two arms then try to drag your body forward for bending and few seconds to stay now one two three four five six seven eight nine 
then chin, get back to normal and relax your body, then few seconds to break. Just take a long, slow and deep inhalation, exhalation. And before end of this session, again we are doing a small stretches for the above back, like in Kati Chakra Asan. So this time keep your sticks on your uh, above back or mid back. Just movement on the right side and on the left side. One, two, three, four. Long, you know, stay on any side. And get back. Opposite side. One, two, three, and get back to normal. Then take again long, slow, and a deep inhalation and exhalation. Then after finishing your physical workouts, physical practices, so it is also advised to give a small time gap to uh, recovery. And coming to pranayam practices. For this pranayam practices, you can choose sitting on the flat surface or on the chair or on the bed or just next to the wall also <clears throat> okay few seconds break and concentrate at your breath and at your relaxation all right after finishing your time gap coming to the pranayam choose any convenient comfortable posture so, so please remember whatever posture you have chosen, please be very convenient in that pose. Throughout the practice session, don't try to move your body and don't try to uh, keep your posture out. But is a first priority. Second priority, according to your body convenience and fitness and health regions, you can choose any kind of practice, uh, like any, any kind of body postures. So few seconds take, long, deep, slow inhalation, exhalation. So here also we have mantra chanting and sloka recitation and visa akshara. Uh, here also according to your free will you can choose all these things or you can choose only practice session. So in this week we are seeing Bastrika Pranayam and Ekanasa Swasa, single nostril breath. So let's come to the prayer first. Take a long deep slow inhalation exhalation. Om Kesavaya Swaha Om Madhavaya Swaha Om Narayanaya Swaha Om Adya Samadhi Tatpala Siddhyadham Asana Purvakan Pranayamadi Karishe Om Sand 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 Okay, keep your hands down. So in other words, it is saying that the total practice session purpose, the yoga session purpose from primary primary level to advanced level or primary postures to advanced postures or pranayama or all styles and all different schools, the purpose is same called physically, uh, it should make our, uh, it should make ourselves physically fit and mentally fit, socially fit and coming to spiritual upliftment also. So all these four levels quite possible with the simple yoga exercises but the way how we are taking this exercise is also very important. Uh, continuity in action will bring lots of good changes other than looking for rights or wrongs or alignments or more theories. Uh, like, uh, uh, please be attend, attend to on this practic, uh, practice sessions. So we are not really stressed on the rights or wrongs or performances or uh, competitive practices or any other alignments. Only your continuity in the matter. So coming to the practices, today also we have uh, the same uh, two exercises. One is Vastrika and one is Eka Nasa Swasa. So Ekanasa Swasa will be a preparatory exercise for the coming next exercise called Bastrika or any other pattern. Uh, especially that will free the nostrils. And coming to Bastrika, Bastrika is saying that Vata Pitta Slash Maharam Sari Ragni Vivardhanam Kundali Bodakam Kshupram Pavanam Sukadam Hitam Brahma Nadi Mukhe Samastha Kapadhyar Gala Nasanam. So basically uh, Kapala Bhati, the, the extreme benefit of the Kapala Bhati is Sarira Agni Vivardhana means it will improve the metabolic activity and it will improve the immunity also. And, and, and also it will somewhat create heat inside. 
and it actually it burns up the toxins and helps the balance is the three doshas vata pitta and kapha because of rapid exchange of o2 and co2 oxygen and carbon dioxide the total blood stream will get proper nutrient in the form of oxygen and also it stimulates the metabolic activity rate and producing the heat inside and flushing out the uh, like what we call some of the waste and toxins and also the rapid the rapidity and the rhythmic pattern of this uh, 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 bastrika uh, like uh, it will give some good exercise in the at the diaphragm at the diaphragm region and also it massages and stimulates the the total visceral organs and the toning the ab organs also so even you can choose only one bastrika uh, to, uh, to your regular practices but the way the way how we are doing very important because every pranayama must be uh, performed with the bandhas jalandra bandha and ujjan bandha and mula bandha are according to your teacher's guidance uh, plain pranayam may not create that kind of good effect when you are not doing proper way of bandhas but because of uh, beginners or uh, online viewers uh, i'm not creating that tough schedule whenever we have personal interaction time we will see bandha abhyas pra uh, practices but coming to very simple practices in the bastrika simply sharp inhalation sharp inhalation slow exhalation but before that we will finish our eka nasa swasa single nostril breath so keep your back straight so open your right hand uh, last two fingers and the thumb to close and open purpose of your right nostril and left nostril close your right nostril close your right nostril with your right thumb and keep inhale with the left nostril and same nostril breathe out again inhale with the left exhale with the left again inhale with the left exhalation with the left last count inhalation with the left and exhalation with the left so this ekanasa swasa also called as chandra swasa or surya swasa or ida swasa or pingala swasa and coming to right nostril breathe in and breathe out so open your last two fingers of the right arm close your left side nostril and inhale with the right and breathe out with the right Again, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, third count, and breathe out, third count, and fourth inhalation. Breathe in, then slowly breathe out. last count breathe in and breathe out then slowly put your hand down then few seconds check your breath check your regular breath and come to the relaxation but here i should mention this important point for the especially bastrika or kapalabhati or any uh, rapid inhalations exhalations please try to follow these instructions contraindications so the people who are having this high blood pressure or uh, hernia or gastric ulcers or stroke or epilepsy or some of the ear problems or retinal problems uh, or pro problems in the pregnancy uh, like uh, and also kind of heart disorders please do not immediately attempt this kind of exercise without guidance of your physician and your uh, teacher who are having the medical knowledge so coming to bastrika keep your back straight to keep your back straight throughout the practice you can put your both the hands on the knees like a slant pillars or you can keep your hands on the floor also it should act like a pillars so few seconds take a long deep inhalation exhalation and in a single go we are doing 30 strokes of bastrika pranayam then starting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last count the T, then few seconds break. Then on the way, keep your mudra abhyas. In the mudra session, we are doing Bhairava mudra. In this, in this week, we are doing Bhairava mudra only. And this mudra also called as gesture of peacefulness or the gesture of terrifying attitude. So it is a one form of Lord Shiva and also these two hands also resembles of the two different polar energy, spiritual energies inside the body. One is Ida energy and one is Pingala energy or right energies and left energy will come together to make us more fit in the spiritual level and the mental level. But only one thing is when you are doing this kind of mudras, try to don't move your body or don't shake or don't jerk your body. And few seconds stay here, take a long deep inhalation, exhalation. And then slowly keep your arms out and long, slow and deep inhalation, exhalation. Then especially coming to the practices. So when you are doing meditation or puja or rituals or any other practice related to silence also, you can choose this simple uh, Bhairava Mudra Abhyas or Chin Mudra Abhyas or you can choose Bhastrika practices or Kapal Bhati practices just before your meditation or your practices for silence. And this may good exercises, especially for the people who are suffering from the insomnia also. But please remember, you can do this kind of exercises just before your bedding time. But try to take good guidance from your yoga teacher about the condition and about the uh, like uh, pros and cons about these practices. So coming to the ending of the session. So uh, once you will be able to totally finish your practices, it is also advised to give at least 5 minutes time to take relaxation in the form of yoga nidra practice or power nap practices to do extra relaxation to the body and the mind and also it is advised to give you uh, at least 15 minutes to half an hour time uh, time for, to take bath and coming to breakfast also you can take further 5 to 10 minutes time but this timing is totally depend on the people to people and their practice sessions and ability and strength in the practices uh, in the afternoon I am requesting everyone to take at least a half an hour power nap or one hour power nap if, if there will be no time at least uh, sit for, for 10 minutes to keep yourself in the silence that will be like before your uh, lunch time so basically these exercises will improve the productivity from you and also it will give you more focus to the mind towards your further works and also it will improve your uh, physical strength and mental strength and also it will give good impact on your immunity and your metabolic activities and in the evening especially in the evenings when once you will be totally free from your activities and affairs before your dinner time try to choose at least half an hour time to do uh, self yoga exercises in that exercise pattern uh, you can choose any kind of exercise schedule but please remember to do uh, back bending exercises and leg stretchings and inversion posters uh, one or two exercises for the strength training and finally you can choose again short sleep method also and when you are meeting here at the same time in the same content tomorrow we will see uh, still good exercises tomorrow we have uh, chair yoga or office yoga or furniture yoga anyone can do easy easy uh, easily that kind of exercises so thank you all to giving me this wonderful opportunity take care of yourself Thank you.